All right, Jason here from well, Septic Tank TV. Welcome to another live broadcast. So today I'm going to answer the question, what is a three-chamber septic tank, right? And how does a three-chamber septic tank work? Yeah, okay, so this is one of the most popular questions that I get asked live on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. So I'm going to answer that question tonight, hopefully. Okay, so let's start by answering the first question. What is a three-chamber septic tank? Well, basically, right, it's a tank with one, two, three chambers in. Yeah, seriously. So, so you can also get a two-chamber septic tank, but that's what a three-chamber septic tank is. So why would anyone on earth right make a septic tank with three chambers why i'm going to show you all right so let me get my blue pen here all right so you've got an inlet pipe and you've got an outlet pipe now this inlet pipe here is the waste water from your house so let's say you've got a house right and um <clears throat> Wastewater, what I mean by wastewater is that's your bath water, your dishwasher water, that's your shower water, your bidet water, that's your toilet water, that's all your water, all your waste, right, comes in. Oh, where's my blue pen gone? All your wastewater comes in here. Okay, so you've had a bath. This is where it comes in, all right, into here. All right, okay. So, and what happens is this. All right, all your wastewater will fill up to here, all right? So all the wastewater will fill up, look, chamber number one. Now, in wastewater, there's lots of debris. Where's my other pen gone, right? There's lots of debris in wastewater. So when I mean debris, I mean things like hair and nails and skin <laughs> and teeth and fat and grease and sludge and vegetables such as potato peelings, carrot peelings, stuff like that, right? So all this debris will float, uh, starts floating on the top, but then it falls, right, all the way down, right? So the debris falls down to the bottom of the first chamber. So, and that debris will build up on the floor of your septic tank in chamber one, all right? That's pretty easy, isn't it? Now, so that debris there is, as I said, is made up of fat, grease, and sludge, and other kind of poor, horrible, smelly stuff, right? But not only that, right? So that's the heavy stuff that's fallen to the bottom. The other debris will float in the water, all right? So other debris will float in the water like so. Now, that debris floating in the water are called suspended solids, right? Because they just float around. I suppose if you wanted to like it to something, liken it to something, I suppose they're like jellyfish, right? And then you'll get other um, debris that will float on top of the water, all right? So basically, you've got three stages, right? Stuff that floats on the water, stuff that floats in the water, right? And stuff that falls to the bottom of the tank. Okay, so why is that important? Because of this, you see this, right? See this thing here. Now this is called a baffle. And basically what it allows is this, right? So all the water comes into here, it fills up, and you see that tide line there, then the water from here, right, will then, go into this secondary chamber and fill this secondary chamber up, right? Now, the reason for the second chamber is this. Most of the debris is trapped in the first chamber, all right? So these little baffles stop big clumps and lumps of poo and wee, uh, not poo and wee, uh, not wee, but poo and fat and grease and sludge and potato peelings and hair. They stop the majority of it going into the second chamber. So in this chamber, right, you'll still have debris go in there, but you'll have some that falls to the bottom still like that, all right? 
but there won't be as much as in here. So if we imagine that's a bit taller in the first chamber there, there you go. So imagine that's a sediment in the first chamber. In the second chamber, it will probably only be to here, okay? And the suspended solids will be a lot less in the water and smaller than in the first chamber. And you'll still have debris that floats on the surface, but it'll be smaller and there'll be a lot less of it. So that's the whole point of chamber two. So can you get the principle here? What it's actually um, acting like is a filter, right? So the more chambers you've got, the more you clean the sewage effluent before it ends going to the soaker, which we'll talk about in a moment. All right. So then in chamber three, right, in chamber three, you'll then have water, right? It goes in, it steps down, steps down. And so again, this will be full of water here. Okay, this is the last chamber. Now, in the last chamber, you'll still get some debris, right, that makes its way through, but it'll be a lot less than chamber two and a lot, lot less than chamber three, right? And you'll still get a bit of, sus of suspended solids in the water, but it's a lot less than chamber two. And you will get a tiny bit of debris floating there, but as you can see, it's been filtered and screened a lot more than when it first went in the tank. And then from there, the water will make its way to your soak away. Now, a soak away, you know, is either a soak away pit or it's um, a herringbone system, drain field, leach field, whatever you want to call it. But the point being is that is what a three chamber septic tank does. That's what it's designed to do. Right? Some people only have two chambers. So the liquid uh, and the suspended solids and all the debris in the second tank will be a lot less than the first. But it's not as effective as a three chamber septic tank. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a four or a five chamber septic tank. I may have seen a four chamber septic tank once, but they're really, really rare, right? But if you want, if you're looking to construct a septic tank, these don't kind of exist now. Uh, up to about 20 years ago, people would have dug a hole and made their own septic tank, three chamber septic tank from concrete or breeze blocks, but people don't make them anymore. Even the septic tanks you buy, the plastic ones, right? They still are not as effective as a three chamber septic tank. So there you go. I hope that's answered your question. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's why they're called a three chamber septic tank and that's what they do. So look, if you want to uh, learn some more answers to your questions and just go on to Google, and type in septic tank TV, or you can go to septictank.co.uk. But listen, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, watch this live broadcast uh, today. And um, over and out, and I'll speak to you soon.